Good morning, you beautiful people of the internet. It is time for a wonderful Black Friday. I am so excited, but I got up this morning. I went ahead, took the dogs on a walk, and then Teddy and I got back in bed. Mochi wasn't really down for it. I put him on the bed, and he immediately jumped off and was playing with toys and stuff. Then I made myself a holiday cup of cheer my coffee look how cute this is i got it at target yesterday this little mug so now i'm just going to make my bed get ready for the morning i'm going to listen to my favorite murder podcast because you guys told me to do that in my last vlog i was talking about podcasts and i wanted some recommendations and a lot of you guys said my favorite murder and i have been obsessed also my friend up here is like really angry at me so there's that the sides of my lips are still cracked but for the most part other than a couple little spots that i have and like this really bad one up here i feel like my skin is still looking so much better oh you know what there's a new um views by david dobrik and jason nash girlfriend floods my new house so i'm gonna listen to that one What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where Jason ditched out on his family and is chilling with me in a small suburban town in Illinois. It is now time to do my makeup and this is the first time in months that I'm sitting at my actual like makeup vanity in my bedroom to do this because for the past few months I had everything down on my office desk because I had filmed some tutorials down there so all my brushes and like my makeup was down there but I brought it all back upstairs so I can sit at my actual vanity to do my makeup because I kept carrying more and more makeup downstairs so my desk just became like makeup mecca so I did pick up the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in number 705 which was the lighter one because 710 was a little bit too dark for me so I'm just going to put this on with a beauty blender oh yeah I think this is gonna match me better might be a little yellow but it's the lightest shade they have I think this blends onto my neck a little bit better but yesterday was Thanksgiving this was the first time ever in my life that I could have spent Thanksgiving with my family that I didn't so the only other time I've ever not had Thanksgiving with my family was when my dad and I were on the amazing race over Thanksgiving so obviously we couldn't have it with like my mom and sisters but this year First, we were planning on going back to Tennessee. Then my parents were planning on coming out here and having Thanksgiving out here. My little sister's in school in England, and since they're in England, they don't celebrate our Thanksgiving. So she doesn't have Thanksgiving off. So it was going to be me, Elle, Alex, mom, dad, Jacob. So we were going to do it out here. Then we had some family stuff go on. Mom and dad weren't going to come out here. So Jacob and I were going to go to Elle and Alex's house. Then Elle had like a crazy Etsy drama thing with her shop. Etsy wouldn't let her print sticker labels or something um, to ship out her sticker advent calendars. And that was like a really big thing. So she was like, I'm canceling our Thanksgiving plans. We're not like we can't do anything here. I need to just work all day. So then Jacob and I decided that we were just going to stay in LA. At first I thought maybe I would cook us a little Thanksgiving dinner, but then we just decided we were just going to order food in, have a super chill day, stay in our pajamas, watch Christmas movies, just have our own little Thanksgiving together. Then we went um, Black Friday shopping. We went and stood in line at Target. We were going to do Best Buy, but the line was like crazy for that. And we cared more about Target because pretty much anything you can buy at Best Buy you can buy at Target. I mean, they might not have as big of a selection, but for the most part, they have the stuff at Target. So we stood in line at Target, got Starbucks, did the whole crazy Black Friday thing. This was my first time ever standing in line for a store to open for something like this, and it was actually crazy. But I did not vlog yesterday because I was just spending the whole day with Jacob, and we just kind of wanted to have our own day. And also, you guys know, Jacob is not like crazy about being on camera. He's not a YouTuber. He's not used to it. And so I like to just respect that, that he would rather not be on camera. I'm gonna go do some more Black Friday shopping today, but I'm also going to go by the office before because this is our biggest sale of the year. So you can imagine that the office is pretty busy right now and I wanna be there for a few hours just to help with any like bottlenecks or anything that the girls aren't 1000% confident in on doing in on their, they're not 1000% confident in 
in doing them on their own. I forgot to tell you guys, I got my teeth whitened on Tuesday. I did vlog it, but then I didn't finish vlogging the rest of the day because when I was actually getting it done, it didn't hurt even though I have really sensitive teeth. I thought it was gonna hurt while they were actually whitening my teeth, but that wasn't painful. It didn't start hurting until a couple hours later when I got home and it hurt to the point where like every single tooth hurt. It hurt to talk. It hurt to like breathe and let the cold air pass my teeth. Like I just had to go to sleep and just like not do anything then Wednesday I spent the day prepping the shop some more and then Thursday was Thanksgiving and now here we are vlogging again I am seriously so freaking excited for vlogmas but I do have some footage from where I did get my teeth whitened that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right here Alrighty, this is my official before okay okay close oh. halfway there you go you could close more you okay? Uh huh. Yeah. You can adjust it a little. Perfect. A shot. It hardens the material. How do you get it off? You pull it off. It's really easy. Oh. It won't be painful. Okay. It feels like weird, but it won't be painful. Okay. Now here are the goggles. Pretty. I know. Are you okay there? Mm hmm. All right, guys, I'm at the office working for a little while and I wanted to show you in a video the other two colors of the power bank because I've only ever showed you this one. And you can see photos of this online, obviously, but I just wanted to show you how pretty it is. It's wrapped all the way around. So we have pink, black, and white. It comes with this little freebie felt carrying case if you don't want it to get scratched up in your bag. Honestly, this one's my personal one. I've had it for months now and I just throw it in my bag on its own. It also comes with a charging cable so you charge it by plugging it in right here on the side and then you can plug the USB side either into a USB port or a little brick into the wall. And then it has two output ports right here if that's going to focus and then it also has these little lights that show you 25 percent 50 75 percent and 100 percent charged there we go so you can check and see how much battery is left on your battery these are only $28, but because of the happy holiday sale that is going on right now, if you use the code for 25% off, then you can get these for $21. So it's basically a great $20 gift. These are great if you're doing Secret Santa or if you just wanna have a few of these as gifts for someone in case like it comes down to the nitty gritty and you don't know what to give them and you have this, it would obviously make an awesome gift. I think. I think this is the only thing that's brand new on the site that you guys haven't seen before, but we have restocked a ton of stuff, so definitely go check it out. I'm pretty sure I just passed Farah Abraham's house and there was a Bentley in the driveway, so I'm more certain that I just passed Farah Abraham's house. There's a Michaels closer than the one I'm going to right now, but this one is in the same complex as Best Buy and Ulta and a couple other stores I wanted to hit up for their Black Friday sales. So I decided I was gonna drive a little further to go to this Michaels so that I could also go ahead and be in the same like parking lot as all the other stores that I wanted to go to. Honestly, I don't know what I'm getting myself into right now with this whole Black Friday shopping deal, but um, I'm ready. I won't lie to you guys right about now. I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing this. It took me about 25 anxiety riddled minutes to get a parking spot. I mean, you can see this place is very packed and I'll probably end up saving like a dollar. So I don't know why I did this. Go shopping on Black Friday, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Yeah, I'm hanging out in the back corner of the store away from people because there is, there's just, 
people the everywhere which i know like everyone had the same idea go shopping save money it's an adventure and stuff but there's literally so many people but i did find this wreath that i'm gonna get so oops there weren't any buggies available when i walked in someone was returning one and goes whoever gets lucky can have it and there was no one else there so i was like okay so i grabbed it and then this girl came over and was like um i was waiting over there for the buggies to be returned so that one's for me and i was like okay so i don't have a buggy so i've just been carrying this around but um i'm just taking a little bit of a break from humans right now i'm in best buy as I'm editing this, I realized that my lipstick is messed up and it stays like this for pretty much the remainder of the video. So sorry about that. Now, and I found another little corner to hide in. Actually, I'm like in the middle of the store right now. I'm not in a corner at all, but they're checking to see if they have the GoPro Karma drone thingy in stock right now, the bundle. So if they do, I'm gonna be getting my first drone ever. I'm so excited. I already thought like, what if when I'm putting my Christmas tree together, I like fly it out my window and up. But then I was like, that just gives everyone a bird's eye view of like exactly where I live. So I probably won't do that but I think it would be fun for the holidays when I go back to my parents' house and we are, you know, hanging out. So yeah, this is the last store I'm going to and then I'm going home after this. Have you ever done something and immediately thought, wow, I should not have done this? That is how I feel about Black Friday 2017. I think I underestimated my ability to deal with the crowds. I knew there were gonna be a lot of people there, but I just didn't expect my reaction to be as intense as it was. And I think, I wouldn't say I have social anxiety, I just have anxiety, I've talked to you guys about this before, around large crowds, if I feel like if something were to happen, if there was a fire or if there was something horrible that happened, I would not have a clear exit path. So much chaos would ensue. There were way too many people for the small like exit area that you would have to go through. And I don't know why my brain has always gone to that since I was a little kid, but I just always am very cautious of like staying on the perimeter of large crowds. I never want to be like in the center of a mosh pit or the center of like a group at a crowd. I always kind of stay on the sides and that's just how I've always been. So I don't know what makes me like that, but two years ago I went to Coachella and I actually ended up leaving early. I'm officially team no Chella now, but there was just too many people in a small area just crammed together. Everyone kind of touching each other. I'm constantly like holding my bag next to me and worried about like someone could easily slip their hand inside and grab my phone or grab my wallet or something. And I'm also just trying to be aware of all of my surroundings and I feel like I lose myself in that and I'm not actually enjoying what I'm there to do. So today I did end up going going to Michael's and Best Buy. I got everything I needed from both. I went to Michael's for some holiday decor and Best Buy for a GoPro. And then last night, like I told you guys, I went to Target for the Black Friday like official opening. And I will say Target, I don't know if it was because I was with Jacob last night and I was alone today, or if Target just like has their stuff together, but I did not feel this anxiety at all when I was at Target. It was when I was at Michael's and Best Buy. First off, it took me like 25 minutes to find a parking spot. Um, one car actually like swerved around me and took a parking spot that I was waiting for. And I was like, you know, I could like be mad and be like, oh, what are you doing? That was my spot. I was waiting for it first. But A, I'm not gonna get in that confrontation. And B, if they like had to do that, maybe they really needed something really badly. Or maybe they were having a situation in the car that they just wanted to be able to get out of the car and like get away from that situation. You never know what someone else is going through. So I was like, okay. But then I had to wait, you know, longer and I was finding a parking spot. When I actually got into Michael's, it was just absolute chaos. There were so many people. The line took like 30 minutes to get through. And then same thing at Best Buy. Best Buy was a little bit easier easier because if you're getting a camera you can check out in the back you don't have to wait in like the line at the very front and then they had another section to check out if you were buying a tv so that was a little bit easier i'd say michael's was like the worst in terms of lines but best buy was a little bit worse in terms of crowd and target was just great last night target was great that's why today i was like i can totally handle this like black friday i don't know why everyone says it's so stressful like i can do this shopping i went to two places and i immediately was like yeah i'm not gonna do that anymore but i do want to show you guys what i got give you a little haul 
A few days ago from Crate and Barrel, I got my tree skirt and my two stockings right there and the outdoor lights that I haven't hung up yet, so I have that here. I got a pre-lit tree, which is so much easier if you're using an artificial tree than trying to string the lights all the way around and your arms get like all scratched and stuff. It's just a luxury if you you know, can get a pre-lit one, I recommend it. So I went ahead and got one of those and it's a little bit taller than the other one because I have such high ceilings here, I was able to get a taller one. So I wanted to get like a bigger Christmas tree and then I got the topper, I got some lit up garland that I'm going to wrap around the stairs. I got ornaments, I got two of these boxes of ornaments. I'm doing like white, silver, and gold, and then, and green, obviously, the tree. And then two boxes of those. I got the hooks so you don't have to hand tie the little strings on them. And then I'll go through this last. This is my sweaters that I got. And then over here, I definitely recommend, oh my goodness, Mochi has dragged his little toy bin into the middle of the thing and it's just pulling toys off. But if you live in an apartment, I recommend getting one of these little buggies to bring up groceries or if you're shopping or just anything, it's so much easier than trying to put them all on your arm. So, okay, I'll go ahead and take this over. I got this from Michaels, these big like gold balls. I thought they'd be nice just to give a different like size pop to the tree and I thought they'd go nice with the ones that I already got. Okay, then bring this around. This is the Christmas wreath that I picked out. So I think it's so pretty. It's like pre-decorated so you don't have to deal with that. So I'm gonna hang that up on my front door and isn't that just like so pretty? Then I got two bags of these things that I'll show you. My mom always used to like stick things like this in her Christmas tree and we always had the most beautiful Christmas tree ever. I don't know exactly how to do it so I'm gonna try. If it looks absolutely horrible then I will just go ahead and take them out and return them and just use the um, Christmas ornaments, but I got these. So these are like the same thing that is in the wreath. So they're like this and my mom would always get these and like stick them in the Christmas tree and somehow it would just look amazing. So I got three or four of these and then there's another kind. And then this is the other one and once you like spruce it up and you know fluff it out and stuff, they take up a lot more space and it's good if you have a tree that has some sparse areas just to kind of fill everything in. And she would always put these in first I think and then hang the ornaments. So I'm gonna try that. I also got some other little doodads and then I got five of these little things. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it look the way my mom always makes her tree look but I'm going to attempt to do it. So that's kind of like the vibe of my tree. In my living room, you'll see that has a little pink on it and my little pink pillow I think looks so pretty and I have my two pink ottomans for right here that are coming that just haven't arrived yet. So I thought that it would be cute to do a pink pop in there but I couldn't find any pink ornaments or like decorations that I liked. The only other thing that I got in here that's any different is just a hook to hang the wreath on my door, like an over the door hook that I can hang it on. Then at Best Buy, I'll start with the most exciting thing I got, you guys. Oh, this is like a gift for me and for you. So I got the GoPro Karma Drone. So this comes with the GoPro Hero 6. This is what I went in to buy with the stabilizer. So these two things together were gonna be $800. Then for $1,000, I could get the drone also. So it's $200 for the drone, whereas the drone is typically, I think like 600 on its own. So I got the drone, the backpack, and a few little like mount accessories and the, um, con the touch screen controller. I got all of that for only 200, so I thought that was a deal I really couldn't pass up because I went in to spend 800 on the GoPro and the stabilizer anyways. So I decided to go ahead, treat myself. It's the holidays, you know, but I'm so excited to take this on vacation with me, get some really cool footage, and uh, the GoPro is definitely gonna help in the vlogs. Then I just got some accessories from 
Best Buy. All right, then I got some accessories from Best Buy. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. This one somehow opened, but this is the accessory kit. It was on sale 50% off, and it comes with like a head camera and a suction cup mount that I can put in my car. And now that is like one of the main things I wanted to be able to have like a good car camera that wasn't just like sitting in my steering wheel. It comes with like some tripods, a little floaty thing. If you take it in the water, it won't sink. Um, a chest strap. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just wanna walk around with this chest strap GoPro on all the time, and you guys can just like see the vlog from my POV. I think that would be pretty fun. I got a rechargeable battery and the battery charger that charges two GoPro batteries at once. I got this tripod for my G7X camera that I'm filming on right now, hello. And um, this is the Gorilla Pod. It's basically the nicer version of the tripod that I already had that I broke. And I tried to Gorilla Glue, Gorilla, ooh, I didn't even think about that. I tried to Gorilla Glue the end back on at Target in one of my vlogs, you guys saw it. Uh, yeah, it broke again. So I went ahead and got like the real one of that, not the knockoff version. And then I got some SD cards. They were on sale like 50% off today. So I got the uh, micro SD, which I will need for the GoPro. And then I got two normal SDs. You can never have too many of these when you're filming YouTube videos. And I feel like I'm always like, wait, I need to find an SD card that has space on it. Then the last thing I got is this right here. This came with the head strap. Oh, okay, so the other one, this set comes with the chest mount. This set comes with the head one. They come with the um, suction cup mount each, so I can put one in my car and then have one somewhere else. And it comes with a few other like little tripody things. And this way I'll have enough like clamps and clips and stuff. If anything doesn't work out well, everything is returnable. Oh, the last thing I have to show you guys are my sweaters. First one is my annual ugly Christmas sweater, but this year I decided instead of wearing an ugly Christmas sweater, I'm gonna wear a cute Christmas sweater and joke is on you because everyone else will be in ugly Christmas sweaters and I will be in the Baham Pug sweater. How freaking cute is this? It's like Doug the Pug basically on a sweater and I just think this is so freaking cute. So you'll probably see me in this quite a bit during Vlogmas. Then I got a few other sweaters. This one reminded me of a sweater that I used to have that I have no idea where it went, but it's just like a bright, fun sweater that you can wear in the winter. Today, I just wore a t-shirt and it was like 80 degrees outside. So I'm hoping that it's gonna get a little chillier so I can actually get a lot of use out of my sweaters. Then I got this light pink one with some glittery floral patterns. And then I got this that says, oh, I love this one. It says, fa la 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 latte. And I thought that was so cute. And this one feels so comfy. Like it feels like the type of sweater that I would want to wear in bed if I'm getting a little chilly, but then obviously it's cute enough you can wear it out also. Then I got this sweater right here that is like a silver sparkly fabric and it has this drape neck. So I thought this was really pretty. And I tried to wear this one today, but then I looked at the weather, it was gonna be 80 degrees, so I said, uh, no. And then the very last one I got was this, and this is like a cold shoulder sweater. So it is the silver sweater that has, I mean the gray sweater that has the little cutoffs in the shoulders and then a little tie so you can adjust it with like how much skin on your shoulders you want showing. Then I just got a fresh pair of PJs. This is the two piece set by a brand that I absolutely love and they were 50% off at Target. So I went ahead and picked up another pair. I sleep in these almost every other night. So I felt like just having like a fresh pair of PJs, I don't know, it makes me feel so good. So I think I need to hang up my wreath. Look how pretty and festive this is. I love it so much. The boys are on the other side of the door and they can hear me and they're like, wait, why is mom out there and we're not out there? Hi, no, stay in, stay in, stay in. Hi, there we go. Alexa is the birthday girl. Woo! We're having her actual party next week, but we are having a little onesie party right now. I put this all together in like two hours. You put it together, I put it together. You Hello. Did. Hi, Casper is here too. This is my first time on your vlog, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
yeah. We've yeah. never vlogged. I mean, we've. Sure, we've never like really hung out though, so. Just two vloggers hanging out. I don't know out. why you guys haven't hung out. We you, just. You, you've been keeping us separate. You're blurry. I oh my blurry. gosh! No, I've been telling you guys you should meet each other for such a long time. Okay. Well, we've met. We. Um, we hang out. You got the sweet sixteen stuff. I like to go for herself. I'm in denial. I'm obsessed. She's in denial with how old she is. So she has flowers. Happy birthday, little bitch. I asked her who got this cake. What was your answer? I, did. I mean, he came with me and we like collaborated on it. So but. this is what it currently looks like, guys. And Blair's joined us. Well, I was just gonna stand behind you and let you do yeah, the vlog do and just like, steal your footage. footage. I was like, okay. we're like monetizing Alexa's birthday 101. I've even got a brand deal. I don't even, my vlog <laughs> camera's broken right now. So so I, I signed the vlog. contract with the company saying, is it okay if, uh, not kidding. It's okay, you have my consent to monetize my birthday. Anyway, it looks beautiful. Who's I was gonna okay. say Blair's here, yeah, and I'm probably gonna get drunk now. Do you guys want alcohol? Yeah. I have all the friends. Wait, what is this, Alexa? Uh, Nick Fial gave that to me. Why does this say I owe you? What does he owe you? Because uh, he was gonna go back home to Chicago, and I told him that he should stick it out in LA, and then he became The Bachelor. Did he become? I just realized. Or what? Yeah. That's a sore subject. When you oh. order ranch, he's blessed. We are blessed with ranch today. Only way to eat pizza. More people have showed up to celebrate oh, Alexa's birth. Alexa. <gasps> yes, Lots Look of all pizza. <laughs> Yum! It's always it's been better. It's a no-go. Yeah. It's a no-go. It's a no. It's a no. Oh, yeah. wow! Target PJs. I'm gonna go wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to bed. Teddy says, if you liked my mom's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, tap that subscribe button down below, and turn on the bell notification. <laughs> Teddy, you're supposed to be telling them. Yeah.